You may be wondering why I'm inside my house in my full bee suit. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna think good thoughts. I just finished cleaning beets. I tilled up the soil out there. I'm about to go live on Instagram to get into the beehive out there because I'm a little concerned that I might not have a queen anymore. So I need to spend some time doing that. After I do that, I've got cucumbers to pick and I've got apples to pick off of my neighbor's tree because I'm gonna try and make cider. I'm gonna can some apples. I have beets to roast and I have a lot more beets to plant because I want to pickle beets. I brought these spent flowers in to put in a vase and I brought in this thing. Is it a bumblebee? It came out of this flower right here. It just jumped out. It's not one of my bees. My bees are tiny. That looks like it could murder my bees. Here we go again. You need to be put into the... Oh, God. I got his bee. I got his wing. I got his wing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Going outside. Going outside. Going outside. It was successful. I have released him into the wild. Well, that was kind of eventful having a bee in the kitchen. <laughs> Let's get started on the basil, the plums, the chilies, the apples, the peas, and get this cooking. These big cucumbers are mostly seeds. There's so much water in this. <laughs> This is what, this is how much liquid already had come out of the cucumbers. And there we have pesto. Thai jalapeno, Thai Thai cayenne. So let's turn this puppy on. So I have my dried chilies here. I'm gonna put them in the chili grinder. This is my beet broth that I made. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. I'll figure out something. I'm just gonna blanch these. I'm not gonna fully cook them. It made two quarts, that's not bad. How many worms are gonna be in here? And how many times am I gonna scream? I'll keep track. <laughs> They're scary. Worms are just disgusting and scary. You guys ever seen one of these beets here? They're beautiful. I've been doing these the wrong way. I've been roasting them and they turn out pink. They are absolutely gorgeous, but much better raw. And it's really awesome if you can use the mandolin. You just have to be super duper careful not to cut your finger or if you get close, don't be too proud. Don't think you're too cool and use this thing. You have no idea how many times I have almost lost digits from getting sloppy. Roasted beets, raw beet salad. Shredded beets. If you haven't checked out the Salty Signorina's beet burger, you should. Cause these beets and those carrots over there make the best veggie burger you have ever had. All right, so we've got a gallon of apples and 
a quart of apple skins. All right, so update on the fermented cucumbers. The taste is tangy. You taste all the thing, like the garlic and the celery, not the celery, the, the dill, right? You taste all that, but it's floppy. Nobody wants a floppy cucumber. This is a This is a black diamond watermelon. Now, this is the biggest one I have. I'm hoping it will get, oh, listen to that thump. Oh, let me do it again. Woo! Love it.